Hey guys, Rock Shop Positive, and I've just finished watching part two of the second episode of part two of the first episode of Doctor Who. Okay, so this episode was called The Witch is Familiar, and I really, really, really loved this episode. It was amazing. It had all the stuff that I like. It had references from old Doctor Who episodes to humour, which is a really strong bit of Doctor Who, to new things that we didn't know about the characters, like the Daleks in particular. Okay, so the episode starts off with like an upside down shot, and it's basically Clara's viewpoint, because um, she's hung upside down by um, Missy, I forgot her name then, by Missy, and basically, at the end of last episode, they were shot, but they're still alive, and Missy's explaining about like, the doctor's story and everything and then she explains how they're still alive and she's sharpening a stick and says, this is the funny bit where and then Clara's like why are you sharpening a stick and she's like we might need to go hunting and she's like why have you tied me up he said in case I can't find anything to hunt which basically means she was gonna eat Clara cannibalism yeah. technically it wouldn't be cannibalism would it because cannibalism is when you eat your own species and Clara's human and she's tiny little lord or lady so and then we see like the doctor tell Endeavoros to get out and we like see the door open from like the Daleks point of view and we see the doctor in Davros's chair and he's so funny he's like wheeling around in it and he's like who's up for a game of dodgers and then you can see Davros and it's really weird to see Davros not in his chair like he's just on the floor like eh, help me it's just, it's really, it's a really weird thing to see. You don't see it every day. So then he's asking, like, where's Clara Oswald and everything. And they're trying to tell him, like, she's dead. She's dead and everything. And he's getting really angry. And he thinks that, like, he's getting somewhere. Like, but then all these snakes start coming up and tangle him in the chair. And just drama, banter. Banter went down in Scarra, basically. You know that snake guy from the last episode? The little snake guy with the like snake face? It was him. And all his little snake dudes so like shh, like that. Brilliant description. Yay. You see the doctor sitting in a chair and then Davros is in his wheelchair thing. He's back in there and it gets really emotional then because Davros is starting to not be like a Dalek and sort of is showing human traits like he's not he's it's like he's not even a Dalek but we find out it's a trap but still that's not the point he was being nice I don't really cry at films or TV shows I think I cried at like Charlotte's Web and everything when I was little um, but I get upset at films where I don't like cry like loads and at TV shows I don't cry I think I cried at an Anne Frank TV show thing before but I actually felt really sad, like I felt like I was actually gonna cry when I was watching Davros talk to the doctor and then when Davros made that joke about he's a bad doctor and the doctor started laughing and then he started laughing that was just, that was just happy sad, that was, that would have been tears of joy because that, that was just so weird, they were being nice to each other, it was, it was really funny but really sad at the same time and I was thinking oh this is nice okay so Davros da okay so Davros is about to die so he kind of wants to like make up for it before he dies you know apologize to the doctor from everything he's done and everything I was like oh, okay this is nice and then he says he wants to see the doctor with his own eyes which I thought that was his eye because he had this giant thing right here but it's not it's these things by ear they're just like black circles by ear and he turns it off and I thought I thought they were his eyes and he just didn't have any because they fell out or something but he opened them he opened it and, and it, it was your eyes and I was like you've had eyes this whole time whoa dude so basically he's just been spinning around in that chair with his eyes closed all this time all he had to do was open his eyes but he opens his eyes he looks super weird and he looks at the doctor and everything and they have an emotional moment and he's like I want to see the sunset on Scaro before I go. So the doctor's nice, he makes that happen, he sits in by the window with a lovely view, 
And then the doctor does something so stupid and I wanted to slap him because as soon as he started doing it, me and my mum went, oh my god, no, he's an idiot. He's an idiot. Because Davros is saying that he regrets it because he can't open his eyes because he hasn't got any energy because he's dying. But he's lying. All of that, all of his being nice was fake. I don't like Davros anymore. I was starting to like him, but I don't like him now. So then the doctor tries to fix something, and then the, the, the Davros takes like his regeneration powers and regenerates all the Daleks, and it's just insane. And I'm like, oh my god, doctor, you're such an idiot, you know? I just want to punch you in the face sometimes. I mean, you make some really stupid decisions. And Davros is like, he is right, you know, the doctor, because the dockers <laughs> the doctor's downfall is like his his nice side you know he's all he cares about people and he's too quick to forgive like he forgive forgive i can't speak in these videos he can't forgive yeah he can forgive people too quickly he for <sighs> oh, i give up i'm not even gonna say what i was about to say because i can't say it but he just he doesn't wait until, you know, there's proof that they're good. He just, oh, they're, they're nice, okay, you're my friend now. So basically, uh, Missy comes in and she saves him just in time and everything, and the doctor's being all, like, back to himself again, because he has a plan, a backup plan, well, it wasn't really a plan, it was just lucky, that earlier in the episode, um, the Clara and Missy went into a sewer, which is basically a Dalek graveyard. So the Dalek word for sewer is the same as graveyard. So that was a ton of dead Daleks and they were really angry and because he regenerated every single Dalek, that meant the dead ones. So they were very angry and then they were turning against the other Daleks that were on the surface. Banter went down on Scaro. I've already said that but it's worth saying again. Banter went down on Scaro. I'm going to get another t-shirt. A really funny banter on Scarrow. So then, um, the Doctor and Missy, they leave the room and then they see the, the a Dalek, which is Clara, but the Doctor doesn't know. So earlier in the episode, Missy um, used Clara's bait and then she killed a Dalek and then she put Clara in it so that they, she could take her to the Dalek place. That's, yeah, the Dalek place. Um, so they could get in there without like having the cover blown and everything. So Clara is basically a Dalek, and there's funny bits. I'm gonna mention the really funny bits after I mention like the end of it. Basically, the Doctor doesn't know it's Clara, so he's like he gets really angry and everything, and he's just like asking about Clara. And Missy is saying, "Oh yeah, this Dalek shot Clara." When it didn't, it is it's Clara. And she's trying to get her to shoot it, and then when when they find out that because the Dalek says mercy, and that's not in the Dalek's vocabulary, um, when the Dalek says mercy, he knows it's Clara, and then Missy's just like, oh, what are the chances? Oh, I don't know. It's just really funny, and then Missy runs, and then Doctor and Clara they run, and Sonic sunglasses is now a thing. I'm going to be walking around in my sunglasses everywhere, just like, mmm, sun sunglasses, and everything. He doesn't have a sonic screwdriver anymore, which is really upsetting, but he does have sonic sunglasses. It's kind of cool, it's a bit of a difference, but us who are used to differences now, like, because Morphe is just crazy, he's a crazy man, he just changes everything. But it works, so it's fine. So then they... Are in the TARDIS then because they had a shield around them and then the Dalek shot at them but it backfired and like shot blah 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 and they were in the TARDIS and they got out and the doctor was like well I don't understand how you were able to say like mercy in the Dalek because I don't understand because it's not in the Dalek's vocabulary so then he realizes and he goes all the way back oops he goes all the way back to the end of last episode like 
the next time thing where like we see the doctor and he says exterminate and he's about to shoot him and we all thought that he was going to shoot Davros like me and my friends we were talking about it like oh, do, you, do you think he's going to shoot him I don't know I didn't think he was and I was right because he wasn't even shooting at him he was shooting at the hand mines remember those guys he was shooting at them so he shot them and the Davros little little Davros little cute Davros he was um, saying, are you the enemy or something, like, are you on the enemy side? And the doctor was like, it doesn't matter about enemies or anything, the only thing that matters is, like, mercy and everything. And that's where the word mercy came from in the vocabulary of the Daleks. Lovely story. My favourite parts of the episode have to be when the scenes with Clara and Missy. That They were the funniest scenes, and the funniest scenes are always my favourite. They were just... So there were so many jokes in there, and it was it just worked. Michelle Gomez is really really good at Missy. It was just amazing. Like she's awesome, and then it's like not just that. It works better with Clara's reactions and everything, and I just really really like them two in scenes. But also with Missy at the end of the episode, she was still in the place with the Daleks when the the the, the, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the doctor and Clara um, got out. So like Missy was still there, and then she was surrounded by Daleks, and she was like, "I've got a plan." And then it just ends there, and then it cuts to another scene. We don't know what happens to her. I hope she's she stays because she's like she's a good character I, li I like this I like this Missy She's awesome. another thing to mention about Missy I'm not sure if I misheard it but I'm pretty sure I didn't but when um, she was using Clara's bait um, she pulled out this thing that she was going to use to like kill Daleks and she was like the doctor got it for her and then I'm sure she said something about her daughter and me and my mum, you know, we let it pass, and about 10 seconds after we realised it, she, she just said daughter. I was like, what? So, um, you know, it's a bit of a mystery there, possibly, and I, if that is what we did here, then maybe Maisie Williams' character might not be Susan or anything, and it might be Missy's daughter, we don't know. So, yeah. So I rate this episode... Uh, camera, what are you doing? I rate this episode 12 Doctors out of 12 Doctors. It was absolutely amazing. Everything you'd expect from a Doctor Who episode. Thanks for watching. This has been Rock Show 2002. Bye!